Hey everybody on YouTube, Lupus Creepus here, and you might see that I happen to have a nice little table set up with a bottle of wine for myself, and who else you may ask? Well, apparently it's going to be a ghostly partner, because I'm going to be doing the Dead Poets game. However, there's a few problems with this one here. Uh, if you happen to have read the Dead Poets game, you might notice a few issues I already have with it. One, you can't have electronics. You also can't have the lights on. And I am doing it on a stage here in a theater. And I do happen to have an audience. Say hello, audience. Hi. Many of these things are ways of doing this wrong. Now, usually I try to do all my rituals correctly to the T and see what happens. However, the Dead Poets game requires a few things that I can't get, such as a particular location of a dead poet. I don't have that. However, there is a story of a man named Alexander Kingsley, the mysterious ace who was a magician, and I want to say the, let's look at my stuff here, the 1800s, yep, in Northern, yep, Northern Europe, London Theater. He did a lot of those crazy, you know, magician acts. Supposedly, he sawed off his own foot and reattached it all in a minute. Well, he found out about this game tried it on stage in front of an audience with the lights and everything and promptly got possessed and tried to kill everybody so we're not going to do it correctly but we're going to do it wrong and see if I get possessed and try to kill my lovely audience here Woo! yeah so what do you guys think? You know, would you guys be, be scared if I get, get possessed and go crazy? nah I think we can subdue you yeah. mm. dog file I'll just hold you at arm's length <laughs> Thanks, I'm, I'm glad to see that I'm so threatening to everyone. Now, the Dead Poets game is a very long ritual pasta, and it also includes the story of when Alexander Kingsley uh, tried it on stage. I'm not going to go through all, every bit of it here, but essentially what, it's supposed to, what you're supposed to do is you set up a table with another chair, you have a alcoholic beverage. Uh, in my case, I'm doing wine. I thought that'd be the classic, the poetic thing to do. Now, for the correct way, you must be alone. You must have to do it at a place where a particular a poet has died. And you have to take everything seriously. Are we taking it seriously? Yes. I don't think we're taking it seriously. So again, by disrespecting all these rules, we're going to probably meet the same fate as poor Alex did. Now, everything were to go correctly, how I would do it is I'd pour a glass of wine, call out to the spirit uh, whom I wish I'd like to play a game with. Uh, normally, that would be the spirit of the person who died here. In this case, I don't have that, so we'll probably call it to old Alexander since he's good and gone right now. And from there, you pour him a glass of wine and say that you want to play a game. Uh, again, this is a very long one, so I'm not going to go through all the details of it here. But eventually it leads into a back and forth that could either lead to you succeeding and escaping this ghostly, I guess, wine time uh, with your life, or losing this game, in which case you are haunted by this thing for, well, the rest of your life. Unless you give it your soul. But again, we're doing it wrong, and what happens if you do it wrong? Well, when the mysterious ace tried to do it in a London theater, again, got possessed, went crazy from <laughs> the spirit, and tried to murder and kill everybody. And then I believe it just ends with him running off into the night. Correct me if I'm wrong on that, but it probably does end with this guy still being out there. Oh, and I almost forgot. Like every good creepypasta ritual, it involves a candle. So, you guys get to watch me burn myself real quick. Come on, light. There we go. There we are. So now, to start this off, I had to prepare my glass of wine. And of course, I need a partner to play this game with. Now, usually you're supposed to call out to the dead poet that you're doing this at 
where, where that person died, creepy enough. But we don't have that here. So let's call out to the person who last failed at this ritual. Alexander Kingsley, the mysterious ace. I'm calling to you. I mean no harm. But I would like to play a game. And with this sip, it should appear. Well, unfortunately, I don't see any sign of Alexander Kingsley. I also don't feel possessed or have a strange urge to kill anyone. How are you guys feeling over there? Anything weird, creepy happening? Yeah. No. Nope. It's not a why. So, what, what's your take on this? Brittany. It would be a decent summoning ritual, I guess. If you followed all the items to the T. Which again, we did not, but that sh still should lead to creepy, crazy, harm possession stuff. What about you, Tasha? Uh, procedurally, it doesn't really conform to a normal ritual, mm -hmm. which I could see why it wouldn't work because of that. It, and we don't even have a place where there would be a haunting at the moment, so that leads even more just being wrong about it. Yeah, that, that's true. Now remember, again, we are performing it the incorrect way, the way Alex and Kingsley did. Alright, well, uh, as far as what I think, it's a really good story. But I think that's what it is. It's really focused on Kingsley's story. Uh, this person wanted to really develop this idea of, you know, what happened to this magician and form the ritual around that. It's a really good and inter uh, interesting one. But I think it's more for the story than actually having anything happen to you. So again, that is the Dead Poets game done wrong. Now, I know I really glazed over the details on this one. I really encourage you to read the story. It's a really good one. You'll, you'll enjoy it. But it is rather long. It has a lot of different parts when it comes to both the game and the actual story itself. So I have the link down in the description. Please take a moment to go through and read that, then you know, some of what I'm doing here might make a little bit more sense. Anyway, this is Lupus Creepus. And wine is good. But I'm out. You know those long, involved ritual creepypastas? The ones that involve a million different steps. The ones where if you breathe the wrong second, you die. Ever wonder who figured it out? It couldn't have been trial and error. You don't get a second try at something like that. The answer's actually pretty simple. Nobody figured it out. He already knew.